I am a toasty wussy roaster who roasts a toast to make toasty roasts in ghost bread. Al pops toast, that's how toaster roasts. Oh wait, 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 where's where's the animation? In goes Well, oh, that's not it. Wait, what? Now oh, here it is. In goes bread. Out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Kon panwa breadcrumbs. Kon panwa. So <laughs> <laughs> Kong Panwa, Hot Cat Jesse, Rita, Stale Bread, we won't have Primity X Craft, Baked uh, bake Potato. <laughs> Alright, so I actually, be before we get started, that's how Toaster Roasts. Shh, 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 shh. Don't think too hard about, don't think too hard about my catchphrase because the more you think about it, the more you'll be like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense at all. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever it is for you guys in your time zone right now. So, um, I actually wanted to say a little bit about my personal history with Toho before starting uh, the game and why it's so important to me. So the basic gist of it is that Toho is the reason that I am into anything vaguely anime right now. And obviously, obviously the game I work on right now is also a heavily Japanese inspired game. So you could say that Toho indirectly led to me working on the game I work on currently. So to start from the very beginning, it was actually, it was actually in high school. I think it was my first year of high school. So this would be uh, the ninth, ninth grade for people who don't use the US school system, don't know the US school system, ninth grade, I was, it was during like a lunch break or something, and I saw someone in the computer room, I saw someone in the computer room playing Toho, and I remember which game it was, it was a uh, Toho 8 Imperishable Night, and I saw the patterns and, and the dodging, and I was like, whoa, this is so cool, I want to play this game, so I asked them what the game was called, and they told me Imperishable Night, and I was like, I don't remember that at all, but when I got home, that day I somehow remembered the name and then I searched it up and then I got it and then I played it and I was very bad at it back then I think eighth, eighth ninth, ninth grade nine plus so that, was, that was like 14 or something I was like 14 or something and Imperishable Night was the first like heavily like individually skill based game that I had ever played and before I played a Toho game, I was like not into anime stuff at all. I didn't even know how to pronounce Reimu's name, I thought her name was pronounced Raimu for like a whole year. <laughs> but because of Toho, I got a bit more into like Japanese culture and just anime in general. And um, I made a few friends at school over Toho, you know, there's, there's the guy that was playing it in the computer room during lunch, so they were obviously really into the game. And then a few other people who were friends with them. So I made like a few friends because of getting into Toho at school. And then because of that, one of those friends, um, they told me about Twitter. This is actually really weird. They told me about Twitter and like how there was like a whole community of people, <laughs> right? <laughs> they told me about Twitter and how there's a whole community of of Toho fans on Twitter, and that is actually what got me to join Twitter in the first place. I might have said this at some point, but I actually started off using Twitter kind of as a roleplay platform to roleplay as um <laughs> to roleplay as Koichi Komeiji on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I think there's like. There's at least one person in chat right now who knows what I'm talking about because they were they they've been with me since since the old days Shiki <laughs> Shiki roleplayed as Yu Yu Ko, but yeah, that's um, that's what got me to start Twitter Okay, and I made like a whole circle of friends on Twitter. I think it was around 50 to 100 people um, If you guys remember that collab Toaster Koichi is not my original Twitter handle, Primity. My original Twitter handle is actually Komeiji Koichi. Like, actually just Komeiji Koichi. Uh, the Toaster thing came later. Um, but because of that circle of 50 to 100 people... Uh, Alright, if you guys remember, a while ago I did a collab with Wolfie. Yeah, I also made friends with Wolfie through that circle. But anyways, because of that circle. I just started, you know, I talked with them a lot and there were a lot of people, there were a lot of people in that <laughs> circle who um 
who were into rhythm games as well, okay? So because of Toho, I got into Twitter, which got me into rhythm games. Um, I think it was specifically DJ Max Trilogy had just like come out internationally or something, and I got peer pressured into getting it basically. And that was, and between that and DJ Max um, Technica, those were the two games that got me into rhythm games. And that was directly caused by, you know, Twitter, which was directly caused by Toho. And then, also because of Toho, also because of Toho, well, this isn't completely because of Toho, but in, at my high school, there was actually like a really small, um, <laughs> there's a really small uh, class for like, I think it was, was it a game development class? That doesn't make any sense at all. I think it was just like a programming class or something. No, it was definitely a game programming class, right? Wait, that doesn't... Yeah, it was a game programming class at high school. Yes, that sounds so weird, but we actually did have that as an experiment for like two years or something. And so during that class, one of my projects was actually a Don Maku game. But um, at that point, I was already into programming and like making games. So it's not completely Toho's fault that I, I make games right now, unfortunately. But <laughs> how Toho changed my life, real story. Yeah, I know, right? Like so much of my current personalities and like all my interests right now are because of Toho. And also even my music taste. Um, before, before I got into Toho, I didn't really listen to much music apart from like orchestral stuff, ironically enough. I listened to like actual like classical music and shit but because of toho i started listening to um quite a few toho remixes okay and we all know how toho remixes were in the early 2010s or even just the late 2000s oh my god Maybe we have like iosis stuff cerno's perfect math class caro destiny and like just like a bunch of like really weird like edm stuff okay <laughs> And all that EDM stuff is, it affected my music taste so much. That's why I'm into like rhythm game style. That's partially why I'm into rhythm game music styles be is because, you know, the, the Toho Dojin music remix circle is pretty tight knit with the Japanese rhythm game music circles. So like that got me, <laughs> that got me into the musical style. <laughs> Toho Alstromerius then. Hardcore Tano. Yeah, Hardcore Tano. Red Alice is literally like, I'm pretty sure the Alice comes from, you know, Team Shanghai Alice and Red is because of. Is it because of Rainbow? I, I actually don't know. Yeah, but you know, classical music plus hardcore. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's just LAR music. <laughs> but yeah, I can feel the gray hairs growing from this discussion. Oh my god, I listened to rhythm game music since I was 10 Lamau. Yeah, I actually didn't even start getting into Toho or anime stuff until I was in like high school. A lot of people I know who are into anime right now, they tell me they, if I ask them, they'll tell me that like they got into anime like when they're like 10 or something. But I really was not into that stuff until maybe I was um, like late into high school. Because, you know, even though I got into Toho, that didn't directly get me to start watching anime or anything. I wasn't really into anime until, like, I was, like, 16 or 17. Yeah, Shanghai is a confluence of the East, and Alice is meant to represent the West, according to Zoo. No, that's interesting. Most, song I, most songs I use in my meme EXE videos are Toho remixes Lamau. Yeah, Toho had such a huge impact on Dojin culture in Japan. It's crazy. It's crazy. It had a huge impact on me as well. My entire... My entire interest in any Japanese culture related things was started because I happened to walk past someone at lunch playing Toho in the computer room. So thank you person whose name I don't even remember. I don't even remember who it was, but thank you for for liking Toho so much that you played it <laughs> at school. And also remember that what please remember that when I was in high school, um when I was this is like doxing my age a little bit, but it's like, it was before 2010. This was before the age of people bringing laptops to school. This was before, like, this was before smartphones, okay? And even then, even then, even before this age, there was somebody who liked Hoho enough to like bring it on a USB stick to school and play it on the computer in the computer room. So so I salute this person who I don't remember. Um, their love for Toho is what, sparked so many of my current interests 
Yeah. <laughs> Everything is anime, it's just a different genre. That's not true. There are... It always... I always have to remind myself that it's only because I'm into anime and Japanese culture that I think it's normal. But like, honestly, even in the Western... Even in the Western sphere, there's a lot of people... Or like, even in just like Western gaming, right? There's still a lot of people who are just like, Ew! Anime! That's so weird! So like, we, we can't forget about those people because there's a lot of them and trying to find a way to come to common ground with them is probably very important in the future but yeah <laughs> computer room dude pray yeah and twitter is also the reason that i became a toaster i think i told this story some other time but basically all the twitter people we watched them um, nichijo an anime called nichijo and there's this section in nichijo called um Helvetica standard boop, 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 boop. and one of the sections had a toaster in it and because everyone was memeing everyone changed their profile picture to something from Helvetica standard and I changed myself to a toaster and then for some reason everyone was just like haha you're a toaster now and then they called me toaster forever and forever after then and they memed me so hard they memed me so hard that I had no choice but to like change my Twitter username from Komeiji Koishi to Toaster Koishi because everyone just was like, ah, you're a toaster. Ah, and they just did that for three years. And so I'm a toaster now. Lol, I spent 10 minutes today explaining to my parents what a VTuber is. <laughs> Miki, I, I, even my parents are still just kind of like, they don't really understand VTubers, but they don't understand streaming culture that much either. So, um, you know, that's just a thing. They accept it though, so it's fine. <laughs> Computer room dude wants to eat toaster for the first time. That person has much potential. I should make that person become a weeb. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as for my actual personal experience playing Toho, um, obviously when I was in high school I played a lot of Toho. Um, back then, it was like 2010, so like even 10 Desires wasn't out. I played, you know, all the games before that. Perfect Cherry Blossom, Imperishable Night, um, Mountain of Faith, Subterranean, Aminism, and a bit of UFO. I didn't play that much UFO because it was a bit hard. But I wasn't very good at it back then, and then maybe like one or two years later, I finally got into rhythm games, and then that just like completely took over, so I just stopped playing Toho. I'm not really sure what my accomplishments in Toho were back in the day, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure I did maybe 1cc some of the games and maybe clear some extras. You know, only up to Toho 12 though, because you know, games after Toho 12 didn't exist. Helvetica standard memes originally from Indonesia, but it was poorly executed, so someone else from another country adapted it. Oh, sad it? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, but then for some reason recently, I think it was like a month ago, maybe? Um, I, th I saw something Twitter related, like YouTube recommended me something, sorry, not Twitter, YouTube recommended me something Toho related, and I was, I was like, Toho, I haven't played that in a while. So I downloaded a bunch of the old Toho games, and somehow I'm a lot better at them now than I was before. <laughs> um, I think it's because between then and now I've played a lot of other games that require like focusing and that are like all about not making mistakes, you know. Rhythm games is about not making mistakes and um, raiding is about not making mistakes. So like my focus is a lot better now and I went through a bunch of old games and I played, I cleared so much shit, man. Um, let, let me take a look at my folder right now. Um... Let's see here. I got... So, let's see. Perfect Cherry Blossom, Perishable Night, Mountain of Face, Subterranean Animism, UFO, uh, Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom, and the Furry one. I 1cc'd all of those in the past month, and I also cleared extra on most of them. I think I didn't do it on UFO. I didn't... Let's see. I did Toho 17, 11, 10, 8, and 7 extra clears. So yeah, this might actually be... um. I might... This game might actually be... I might... It might actually be a pushover for me. <laughs> but yeah. All these games are about becoming non-human. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, they are all kind of about becoming non-human. They're all games where, like, at the really high level of gameplay, you just look at it and you're just like... What? How is this person doing that? <laughs> Which version of LOLK did you do? Both of them. I actually had... I first cleared it on the regular mode, and then I did point device. Point device was fucking suffering, man. Some clown pieces shit is just like... Yep, I've been here for 50 tries. <laughs> Honestly, you could probably 1cc Lunatic here in 10 Desires. Are you sure? I don't think Lunatic in 10 Desires is that easy. Uh, <laughs> 10 Desires. Lunatic is... 
is rated as a 19. There's no way I can do a 19. Maybe hard, but I want to start with normal just, just in case, you know? It's the only lunatic clear I have. That means you're probably better at Toho than I am then. <laughs> I see the screen. I'm like, how do you keep track of everything? You don't, you just keep track of the important parts. <laughs> oh, not 1cc. Okay, 1cc is a different story. I mean, like, being able to do it with continues is a bit different. LLK point device lunatic is very similar to normal TBH. I heard stuff about like how clown pieces like lunatic <laughs> lunatic cards might sometimes or non spells might sometimes be easier <laughs> than her normal ones. I'm just like, what are you guys what are you guys on? About? But okay, 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 let's actually get into the game now. I've been talking for way too long. Yeah. Normal Haku Reimu. So I haven't played Ten Desires before. Oh wait, hold on. I haven't played Ten Desires before, but I did read how the how the game system works. I know all about the spirits and stuff, but like I'm gonna be seeing all of these spell cards and levels for the first time. But you know, every single Toho game starts with these fairies that spawn at the top, and you just kind of do this. <laughs> if only I let them have a chance to attack me. <laughs> this is literally like every single Toho stage one. There's just a bunch of fairies that come from the top, and most of them are power fairies. These guys aren't even shooting anything, what the fuck? Oh, now they are, okay. I don't really understand the spirits, but um, I guess I'll deal with it. Boop, 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 boop. You know, but stage- oh no! Oh my god, these power items only give one. Is this the- <laughs> Is this the mid-boss? <laughs> the mid-boss is a spirit? Um, okay. It's not, it, it's just a fucking spirit. <laughs> Why? That's actually really unusual. Usually mid bosses aren't spirits. Usually mid bosses are for stage one is the boss of stage one, right? No, that's not true. Sometimes it's just like an, a minor fairy of some sort. Hello fairies, please die. Be careful running into fairies. Yes, I know. I'll be more careful in the later levels, but this is stage one. Like, if I mess up on stage one, I can just restart. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> what? It's Yuyuko? Wait. <laughs> okay, I heard that Yuyuko was in this game earlier, but why is she the stage one boss? Hello? <laughs> why is Yuyuko here as a stage one boss? <laughs> no fairies in Haku. <laughs> Only spirits. This is just streaming with some extra bullets. What is Yuyuko doing here? Oh my god, just die. This is normal difficulty. <laughs> ah yes, the famous... <laughs> she's just here to make sure you know what you're doing. Is that actually what she's here for though? I, I don't know the dialogue or the plot, so... Um... I mean, the game literally says normal mode in the upper right corner. Hello, can you die please? Give me more fairy, give me more spirits. Oh, she has one more card. I want to see Tosa play Lunatic. Um, I definitely cannot clear Lunatic, but we can see that later. Maybe. Yomu is playable in this game? What? She fights you, Yuko? <laughs> oh right, yeah, Yo Yomu is playable in this game, and then she just goes and fights you, Yuko. <laughs> You're like, well, this incident sure feels like a netherworld thing, and then you rock him, Yuko's like, no, it ain't, but defeat me, and I'll point you in the right direction. Okay. <laughs> Isn't Yomu, like... Oh god, that spirit flying into that... These spirit, that spirit flying into me made me think I almost ran to a bullet. It was just a spirit XD. Can I have power items, please? Thank you. You go and beat up Yuko first because you think she's the cause of the incident? Why would she cause another incident, please? <laughs> well, I ran into a fairy, guys. You can, you can add one to- what the fuck is this? Oh, I still die after that? Why?
<laughs> I'm sure standing at the top of the screen will be perfectly fine, guys. Instantly dies. What? Oh my god. I thought that was a fucking... I thought that was one of these blue spirit things. I hate this. I hate this. this that didn't happen. That didn't happen, guys. Oh, right. If you die... What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, blue blue colored bullets. Okay, blue colored bullets. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to restart. I'm not going to continue on stage 2, man. Bro, these spirits these 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 little blue dudes, they look like the bullets. I'm just like, oh, I have to go pick that up, and then I die, because it's a... <laughs> Why? Okay, I need to be more careful, like, I, I keep thinking that those blue dudes, that those, these, the blue collectible spirit things, these things, I keep thinking they're... They're just spirit things, and then like I run into one and it's actually a bullet. Death by greed, yeah I know right. Here I'll just play this properly, I don't need to pick up the blue ones, the blue ones are only for... No, they still fill up the... Oh yeah, they still fill up the cage, and I need to collect the red and green ones at least. Friendliness pellets, yeah, they're friends. Hello. Oh, I didn't get to the point collection. Please. I need power. <laughs> score, which does help. Is there a score based extra life system in this game? I actually don't know. Okay, I guess we're doing this again. I'm just gonna sit down here this time. I'm not gonna play like a maniac. <laughs> okay, this is boring. You're going to get to see Yuko so many times today. <laughs> Wait, I have to go all the way up there to grab the life piece? That's annoying. <laughs> I'm a <Yuko. laughs> uh... Well, Primity, you're in, you're in luck because there is a second Yuyuko fan in the chat right now, too. Shiki is still here. Shiki also loves Yuyuko. <laughs> I'm going for it because of greed. Wait, what is this card? Did I even do this card last time, or was it literally just like so non-existent that I didn't even rec didn't even register it in my brain? <laughs> you, you cooking? All right, guys. Okay, no bullets to troll me this time. I will use my eyes very carefully. Hello, fairies. And there's... Yeah, actually, um, you know, stage memorization is actually a very big component of shooting games, so like... Yeah, the reason you don't want to sit, so the reason you don't always want to sit at the very bottom of the screen is because at higher, for higher difficulty things, there's like, the bullets will like, because they're moving at different speeds, they'll like form walls, and then the walls will fall apart later on. And you want to be near the, what the, these guys drop life pieces. Wait, I need that. Oh god, I almost ran into that fairy. But yeah, patterns with, 
bullets that move at different speeds, especially at higher levels, they'll form walls and then the walls will like come apart because, you know, the bullets are moving at different speeds. So if you're... If you're at the bottom of the screen and a wall for- wait, what is going on here? Oh, okay, I see. If you're at the bottom of the screen and a wall forms right in front of you, then you don't have any space to move downwards to wait for the wall to go away. So that's why you want to be, like, not at the bottom. So if there's a wall that's forming, you can go down and dodge backwards. Doga. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna need you guys to tell me the names of these characters because I don't know. I don't know their names. She's a dog? Okay. Kasu Dani Kyoko? Okay. I keep hearing the gah, dwan, dwan, dwan sound and I'm just like, I must pick up the spirits! But I'm scared. I'm scared to pick up the spirits. Kyoko is a good girl? Okay, noted. Give me that stuff. Ooh, more bomb fragments. See, because the kill is kill and she echo- Okay, I see. So this is the echoing mechanic. Bullets bounce off the walls and stuff. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Oh, I should not get too greedy. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Nice box. Alright. Oh no. <gasps> How many of these bullets are actually gonna come at me after this, though? Only like a few of them? Hello, are you dead already? Thank you. Whew. Yeah, you FO is really hard. I I don't like I don't like this pull I don't like this pattern. <laughs> oh god, the bullets on the side that don't come in until later. I'm actually really bad at these type of patterns. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> Four directions, everyone's weakness. Yeah, I know, right? I don't like where this is going either. Told of you to rechat mid gameplay, please. Everyone's like, oh, this this game is easy, so I'm going to re-chat in the middle of gameplay. <laughs> Honestly, there aren't enough bullets on screen that I actually have to look. <laughs> I'm actually reading chat in the middle of gameplay. I'm just using my peripheral vision to dodge right now. But I might have to start focusing a bit more now because it's stage three. <laughs> oh, I'm full on power now. Okay. All right. Can I grab these dudes? Hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. These are tracer bolts, but I don't care. Hmm. Wait, those aren't tracer bolts, the fuck? What does 1cc mean? Okay, so, um... Basically, even if you lose all of your lives, you can still continue playing from the same level. And there are six levels in the game, right? The game lets you continue playing from the same level with, with two lives. And depending on which game it is, you can do this as many times as you want. So 1cc means not using that not using that functionality. You have to get all the way from the first level to the last level on one set of lives. And of course, there's a lot of, um... Is that Kogasa? Wait, what? What's Kogasa doing here? Kogasa, you're not allowed to use this attack. This was a spell card of yours in UFO. <laughs> Bomb piece. Oh my god. Please stop moving. I need to be underneath you. 
Uh, bye. Wow, a full power item. Or a ball. Oh my god, those life pieces. I need them. Wait, you're fully invincible in this mode? That's nuts. Hello? Uh. It's raining bullets, not really. Bro, I need to fill up that spirit gauge again. Oh, I don't care about story spoilers or anything. Hello? Hello, spirits. Goodbye, spirits. Oh, you're right. That only charged it like one third of one of... Okay. Hello! Wait. Is this zombie girl originally from this game? I thought she was from a... Isn't she from a different game? Yoshika? Why do I feel like I've seen her before? Don't, 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 don't. Oh my gosh, she summons little dudes. I just want to get rid of a few of them preemptively. Are they shooting tracer bullets? Oh, they are, okay. What? Seriously? Just because I went to fight... Hello? How did I time that out? I've seen art of her, yeah. I've Oh yeah, I've seen art of the doggo as well. She heals? What? Does she really? I can't look at the health bar right now because um, that's a bit too spooky for me. <laughs> You're not allowed to use Yu Yuko's, not Yu Yuko's, Yomu's sound effect there. Only Yomu's allowed to go slashy slash. Wait, blue spirits prevent her from s the blue s what? She heals off the spirits? What the heck? Hello, bullets? That's a lot of bullets. Um. Ah! Okay, that spell card started really fast. No, no Kirby. Ah, what? I see. God damn it. What the fuck? They come out so fast. There's no way I can collect those, man. Sir? Madam? Please stop cheating. <laughs> I, I'm not good enough to get up there fast enough. I'll just let her time this out, to be honest. Those lasers, are, those lasers are curvy lasers that just aren't curving. This background reminds me of stage one from um from SA. Which song got hella remixed? Sorry, I, I, I actually can't reach out anymore. <laughs> the, bo the boss for this level? Wait, the, the level? The stage music? That's interesting. Okay, what are these things? I already don't like this. Oh shit. 
This card might be a little bit unsight readable, to be honest. Hey, come back here. I don't even have a spirit gauge yet, what the heck? Hey Toaster, don't get don't get distracted by chat too late. <laughs> okay, I have enough spirits now. Oh, give me that point value. I don't even do score attacks because I'm not good enough for that, but like at the same time, items! Ooh, bomb piece. This song along with the stage 6 boss and extra boss are my favorite songs in the game. Alright, I'll look forward to that then. What's her name? <laughs> Sega? And she has a thing with- <clears throat> Okay. Hello? Hello? Bro, she's tanking. Are these aimed bullets? Yeah, they are. They just move really slowly. Oh, okay, goodbye, lol. Are right, you going to resurrect her now? Can you please die already? <laughs> that is so annoying, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, Reimu's homing bullets are going to the wrong target. Oh my god. I didn't need to do that. Hello, curvy lasers? What was that about no curvy lasers? Oh god. Stop tanking! <laughs> this is a very interesting boss though. God. What are these balls? <laughs> They're kind of homing, but oh my god, I didn't need to do that. I hope I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, the Taiga lasers are pretty impossible. <laughs> Hello. Stage five? Wait, I thought it was still on stage four. Holy shit. Bomb pieces? I want those bomb pieces, but I don't think I can get them. Oh, never mind, I got one. Okay, I didn't get the other one though. Well, it's always so weird or funny to me how, like, the better you are, the more resources you can get in these games, but then, like, the resources are mostly needed by people who are not good at the game, so it's like, what's even the point of giving people? Only people who are able to go to the top of the screen are allowed to get the bombs. But only people who are good at the game can get the bombs. Wait, I actually want this. Hello? Hello? I'm here to cheese you. 
Oh wait, okay, no more cheese. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Alright, chat, what's her name? What is this shit? You know, the way these arrows moves, move basically make them curvy lasers. <laughs> They're basically curvy lasers, just like rebranded. Um, okay, goodbye. Please stop shooting. Stop shooting, I need your- I need your spirits. Okay, I guess not. Hello circular formation spirits. Ah! What the? It spawned on top of me! <gasps> Holy shit, I would have died if I was at the bottom of the screen there. Wait, I actually have to be in the middle here. This is literally- that was literally just a freaking Rin spell card right there. Um... Nope. Telefragged? Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. Oh, I guess I got a bomb back from that. Hi guys, there are many of you- oh my god. <laughs> if you're wondering what switches I have on my keyboard, they're browns. And yeah, they are linears. <gasps> Tendis Earth has a really sad story. Unfortunate. Hello, bullets. Mononobe no Futo. Okay. She's on a boat! Okay, now the spell card is getting real. Yikes. Oh my god. Boat. Um? <sighs> okay, I guess she's not using her bone anymore. Does this spell card have any secondary part to it, or is this just it? Oh my god, this is... They're really starting to build up there. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, I didn't get the life piece, what the fuck? Why is the life piece all the way up there? Well, I guess I'm not getting my life piece then. I can just dodge through the gaps in this one. Okay, what is this? Oh my god. Nope, I can't do that. Oh no, my, my bomb didn't clear the ones on the side. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, the orange ones can't get cleared by my presence? Okay. <sighs> Hello. Um, should I be down here? I, I guess it's fine. Oh boy, it's one of these type of cards. The funny bullets make a pattern where you're supposed to like run around in a circle and then... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've played a lot of Toho games recently and in the past, so like, a lot of cards are just like, yeah, I've seen something like this before, and like, I have a strategy in my head for it already. That has a lot of bullets, though. For the walls? The walls use a shit ton of bullets, man. Oh. Um. <laughs> this, this might be a very short st I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm already full on my spirit gauge. Um. A sure amount of math you need to know to make crazy patterns like that. It's not completely true. Sometimes you can just bullshit a bunch of patterns. Bullshit like bullet movements until they work. For example, the spirally pattern is actually just a bunch of a bunch of bullets that are all aimed at the center of the stage. And the point that they spawn from rotates around. 
Like I. Like I've I've made Danmaku games before, or written Danmaku patterns and like Danmaku Fu and stuff. So like, I'm not unfamiliar with the art of programming Danmaku patterns. Hello, I never killed this one and it's just shooting forever. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I made it past that ferry. I thought I was gonna crash into it and dive, but I guess that didn't happen. Oh, I guess I'm not getting another extra life, huh? Hi, Briakuma. All right, let's do this. Tell you Mimi no Miko. Oh, Miko, I've heard of her before. She's the rival to Byakuren? Okay. Uh-huh. You're gonna shoot upwards lasers? Yeah, alright. Yeah, these th Oh, shit, I didn't- What the- Okay, man, some of those bullets are, like, actually invisible. Goodbye. Yo, those tiny bullets are scary. Yikes. Okay. Oh, I see. She also has like this big like aura around her that she summons every time. Nope. Please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Oh, they're back. Hello. Oh, no. I don't like where they're going. Oh, no. Not one of these type of cards. She respawns them? Okay. Where am I going? Mid-match dialogue. I can't read that. It's too fast for me. Oh my god, I don't like this. I still had a bomb left there. I thought I could dodge that. Oh my god, please. Okay. Oh no, not another one of this kind of crap. If you guys remember the previous card that was like this fucking owned me. Hey, these bullets move really slowly though. Nope. Wait, 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 no! The vulnerability ran off way too slowly.
Oh god, final card. Let's go. Since this is the final card, she's gonna be like, and now there's a s even. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Wait, does she not have bomb immunity? Oh, fuck. How about no? Um... Gonna be honest, I was not expecting on clearing that the first try. <laughs> well, that was... I guess you guys really weren't telling... I guess you guys really weren't kidding when you said it was easy. What? Extra stage, let's go! Okay, let's do the extra stage then. Honestly, I'm not really sure how to deal with Miko's final spell card. I kind of just bombed through it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to, um... Sit through these credits. TD legit the easiest game in the series on normal, but what about, um, Imperishable Knight? On normal, you just kind of do a figure eight? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not very good at, like, tracer patterns where the bullets come from all around. So, like... Well, the thing about this game is, um, easier than I N. Well, maybe the patterns, the individual patterns in this game definitely feel really easy, but, um... I N, the reason Imperishable Knight is easy is because with Border Team, you have, like, a 0.9 second death bomb window or something, so you never die, basically. <laughs> oh my god. Conoco sets off nuclear events of subterranean animism. And then that unearths the... That unearths Byakuren's boat, right? And then Miko, Mito's like, What is Byakuren doing back here? I'm gonna go fight her. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. So, um, I will, I will be back because this, these credits are unskippable the first time you see them. Blah, 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 blah. Guys, don't have soup right before you stream. <laughs> you have soup right before you stream, then you're just gonna be like, oh no, I have to use the restroom. Okay. Um, remember my first run where I just ran into like three fairies and died instantly? <laughs> um, okay. Wait, I wanna try that last spell again. Was it this one? Just stream on the toilet forehead.
Oh no. <laughs> yeah, dodging the very last wave of this is pretty hard. I think I kind of understand how to dodge the first few waves, but um... Oh, you just run around them like... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, no, grind grinding the final spell card for... Capturing the final spell card is... Capturing final spell cards is really fucking hard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try that. Alright, let's just go play extra then. Well, actually, that was a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> we actually did it in one real run. When the HP touches the blue line, the rest of the bullets on the screen freeze, so there's kind of a timing. Is that how it works, really? Um, I guess we're playing extra stage now. How hard is TD's extra stage, though? Like, like who is a compar who is a comparable difficulty of difficulty for this extra stage? Which which game's extra stage? Do I start at full power in this game? Yes, thank you, game. Um. R difficulty rating, you're gonna die? Really? Is it really that hard? Oops. Don't worry, guys. The first few runs of X are just, um... What? Nua? What are you doing here? Okay. Oh. That, uh, th that didn't happen. Do these bullets like kind of wiggle around or something? They're really annoying. Oh, they changed velocity. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh my god, I hate these bullets, guys. These bullets are so annoying. It's the EX boss's friend. Nue is friends with, with... With the Tanuki. The EX boss for this is the Tanuki, right? Okay. Oh my god. Her name is Mamiso. She's a Tanuki, so her spell cards are based on tricks. That sounds very annoying. This this card is very annoying as well. This is what I'm talking about, um, multi-directional tracer bullets. I'm not very good at these. Like, I don't know the movements to dodge them. So I don't have, like, a very good of intuition of how to dodge these type of patterns. Oh, well, I mean, okay. Um... This is the classic extra stage thing of don't let the enemy stay around on the screen for too long because they're going to like pile up all their bullets and make it even harder. All Tohu songs follow a very similar um, musical structure though. Oh my god. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, PA, okay. Hello? Hello? Sorry, I had to use that. <laughs> but like, actually, how hard is she compared to other extra stages? Hello? Oh, this song is very familiar. It, it sounds like something that's been remixed a lot. Hello, men. Unneeded men. <laughs> What's with these men? <laughs> Ah. 
Ah, there we go. She has, she has bomb immunity, just like an extra boss slot too. All right, I don't have any bombs left, so I'm gonna have to actually dodge. This is this is just a practice run, by the way. I died two times during the stage, so like obviously we can't go forward with that. My difficulty rating, you gonna? Okay. This is an interesting card, but I don't think it's that hard. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of doggos now. Never mind. I regret saying that. I can just. Holy shit! The upwards movement is really okay. They have a lot of freaking spell cards. Every extra boss has 10 spell cards. Hello? That's literally the whole point. They have 10 spell cards. The usual, they usually have 10 spell cards. And the last three are usually... The second to last one is a survival card. Hello. Hello, burbs. Hello? Hello? Um, oh my god. How big are the hitboxes on these dudes? Okay, the hitbox is pretty small. All right, I see. Ah! Oh, hi, Water Yuffie. Your comrades are trying to kill me right now. Can you please tell them to calm down a little bit? <laughs> oh no, frogs. Are they going to explode? Oh yeah, they do explode, of course. I, I know that they explode because, um, you know, um, what's her face? Uh, the, the, the Suwako, like, all of Suwako's, like, frog-based crap is literally just, like, exploding. Please just die. Suwako from um, Toho 10, the extra stage boss. What the? Huh? Oh, this is so annoying, guys. Yo, this is just all of the animals together. Oh, I had a bomb. Okay. Hmm. There are still five more f cards after that? Okay. I kind of forget how this is extra. S Hey, I wasted two lives on the stage section, so that doesn't count. I didn't. I was not expecting to one shot an extra stage. I'd be so surprised to one shot blind, blind one shot an extra stage. This is the part where I start getting greedy during the stage portion and just like die a billion times, though. Oh, right, they start shooting wider bullets. I might have made a mistake there. <sighs> okay, that, that was a mistake. Swako is my secret favorite Toho actually, right, because you roleplay as you roleplay as Yu Yu Ko. So so that means they're not your favorite. That just means that you identify as them. For what it's worth, I made more progress on Phantasm than I ever did on this, actually. The Phantasm's super easy. I mean, I wouldn't say the patterns of Phantasm are easy or anything, but, like, you get, like... You get Border Breaks or whatever it's called. You get the Cherry Blossom shit, like, out your ass. Like, every single auto attack in PCB can be cheesed. Like, you don't have to... You know, I'll just continue this run. Like, Phantasm, you don't have to play, like, half of the game. Because you just press, you just press Border Break, and then it's fine. Hate me all you want, but I never found Toho to be an interesting game. I mean... I mean, that that's fair. This is a, like, you have to be, like, really into, like... Like, it's a bullet hell game. I don't ex... St what did I get hit by?! Bullet hell games are not for everyone. Like you have to have like have like a certain like 
you just gotta be into like a certain type of thing to like want to even play bullet hell games i'm sure like bullet hell games can actually just be like complete and utter pain for some people like it's definitely not something that's fun for everyone it's just like how rhythm games aren't fun for everyone you know that didn't happen Toho and rhythm games are no not not just Toho but like um all bullet hell games in general are just not for everyone. Bro, that's a lot of bullets. Hello? <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, caves. Well, actually, I don't know how to get into a cave game. Aren't all cave games arcade games? Is there like any way to play cave games without having like an arcade emulator? I asked that question, but I probably won't have the brain power to read the chat by then. Oh my god, what the heck? If you have PC ports on Steam, interesting, okay. Well, I mean, Toho is relatively easy mode for the da oh, Damaku game. So, I, I, I tried, I tried, I tried. <laughs> but that, uh, the, the game didn't want that, that cheap streaming method to work out for me. Intense controller sounds. I'm not using controller. This is just my mechanical keyboard. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not um, hardcore enough at bullet hell games to have a stick yet. Cause you know, um, Toho is still considered on the easy side of difficulty. For Danmaku games. If Toaster tilts, Toast falls out, maybe. Wait, what the heck? <sighs> A fairy spawned on top of me. <laughs> Why did it come to this? Oh my god. That did that 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 didn't happen. How many cups of coffee have you had today, Toaster? I had two. The usual. Are these Are these walls aimed at me? I don't understand how the first the first time I did this, I somehow managed to like god my way through this. But now I'm just like, now I'm just like, I can't handle that at all. I guess that kind of worked out. Okay. Uh, yeah. These bullets do have a threatening aura though. They fucking, they change, they, they kind of like wiggle around. So you can't predict their velocity. You kind of have to just go for the open spaces. 
like pre pre pro 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 proactively. Because if you don't, then like one of the bullets randomly changing its velocity could get you really fucking hard. I also don't know what the hitbox for these arrows are. They seem to be very small though. Thank you for the spirits. I believe it's just the arrowheads. Yeah, that's what it seems like, but I don't know what the size of the arrowheads themselves are either. I'm sure this pattern actually secretly has some like super dumb way of baiting that causes it to be like 10 times easier or something. Oh, I didn't have a bomb left, okay. This most swear word dense stream I've ever done? No, it's definitely not. I've definitely done streams where I've swear more than this. God, I, I lost track of the bullets. Wait, are Raymond's hitbox, is her hitbox actually smaller? Oh my God. I guess I kind of got my bomb back there. Ugh! Sigh. I'm getting lost in the sauce. Okay. I don't think that's a particularly good stage section, but let's get practice on the boss. I'm not at full power because I died. God, that's annoying. Oh, her hitbox is smaller. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, I did know that, but it didn't register. This one. Holy shit. Oh my god, these are shooting really fast now. Spent too long gathering the spirits. Oh, right, this one. The one with the birds. Oh, God. I probably didn't need to do that. I need to look ahead at the... F mm -hmm. The top ones from the previous wave. Right. I almost made the same mistake there. Okay. What was this one again? Oh, the frog one. Yeah, I have no idea how to do this one, lol. Where do I stand for it? This? Here? Okay, maybe not. Oh, that was my last life. Oh god. 
Where do I stand for the frog card? Hmm. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe this is better? Oh no, I got further last time. Last time I- Well, I mean, so have a unique non-spell attack other than that one? Probably. Usually they have like a unique- They switch up like what they do for their non-spell halfway through. I should not have come here. Okay, I somehow dodged through one of those walls. Thanks, game, I guess. Follow a trail of bursting frogs? That's... I think Koishi has the best extra stage. Koishi's extra stage is very memorable for sure. Oh my god. Yeah, I've beaten Koishi before. And is supposed to be one of the harder extra stages too, right? So like, if I can beat Koishi, then I should be able to beat this one with enough practice. Oh my god, I can't... I need a better strategy for this section. Maybe if I, if I kill this one, and then I kill this one... And then I go back to this side and kill this one again. I think, yeah, this is kind of working out. And then I kill this one. Okay, that worked. I actually haven't played much Embodiment of Star Lit Devil because, um... It's old. <laughs> it's old. And like, like I can't, um, I can't handle not having the hitbox display. To be honest, I'm a baby. I'm a baby who needs my hitbox display. Konpan wa Hiroto san. Yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges, and a lot of the spell cards are just kind of like very basic, in my opinion. I don't know. Look, some of these bolts are actually like curving around backwards. <sighs> okay, I need to figure out how to do this card. Yeah, PCB was a lot better in terms of QOL for sure. Kong Tangwa Wai Tao. Right, red ones are the tracer ones. Oh my god, I didn't need to do that. I guess I have one bomb now, for some reason. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use trance here. It has Zune's favorite. Wait, who, who is Zune's favorite character? What? Oh, Alice, right. What? Bro. Okay, that kind of pissed me off. I mostly got the stage down now, though. Yeah, Mountain of Faith definitely feels different. Like, he actually basically rewrote the engine, didn't he? And he also rewrote the engine after, like, this game, right? Like, 14 was also where he did a reset. Thanks for coming, Amelia. Thanks for coming, M. Okay, I guess I just cancelled all of the dudes, huh? I cancelled out the bullets so there just wasn't an attack for the next wave there. Okay. Is this a dog one? Oh my god. The off the one bit where you have to stream upwards is just impossible. Da 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 da. Okay, this one. Right. How did I dodge between those guys? Holy shit. I think I can capture that. All right. Ugh. Hello. Please die. I guess not. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the frog one, right? Follow a stream of exploding frogs? But how do I do that? Ugh, that didn't work at all. Where do I start? I feel like that- Oh shit, I didn't see where the gaps were. I feel like that's one of the car- SERIOUSLY?! The invulnerability for my bomb wore off that fast? Are you shitting me? Holy shit. Imperishable Night is the easiest game. Toho 8. <laughs> or play Toho 7. Um. my last life? Am I dead? I'm dead. How do I do the frog one? Oh, 13 extra stage. 
I got further than last time, but like... I mean, extra stages always do take a lot longer to learn and execute because they're shorter. Extra stage is only like 10 to 12 minutes if, if you already know what you're doing. So like, they require a lot more learning. You have to play them a lot of times, and the stage portions of extra stage are usually really hard as well. I need to figure out how to do, um... Ever have like certain music, or like a perfect mental time machine that just bring back you back to certain years and everything associated with those years? Yeah, yeah, that is sa same Shiki. If I listen to like any of the old Toho remixes, it just reminds me of when I was in high school, which is honestly not a very good time for me, but like... Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Only three deaths with that score ranking. Yeah, I need to figure out how to do, um... I need to figure out how to do... The, the one with the men, too. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to walk through them. Like, in between their waves or something like that, maybe? Uh... Conflict. Toaster was surrounded by too many dumb people in high school. Do you include retries? Retries of what? Oh, extra stage? I mean, no, retries don't count? Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh shit, I already already lost my tempo on these guys. Wait, hold on. Let me restart. Uh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Toaster was surrounded by too many dumb people in high school. This is objectively false. There is a I've probably mentioned this a lot of times, but there's this guy in high school who literally dropped out to go to Harvard. Because like he got a scholarship to Harvard, like so early on that he just fucking he just dropped out of high school and just went to Harvard instead. But I suppose <sighs> No, definitely in the years you specified two thousand around 2010, I basically also only listened to Toho music. I would literally lie in bed listening to To listening to Cerno's perfect math class, man. It was a weird time for me. <laughs> Cerno's perfect math class. <laughs> he dropped out of high school to go to Harvard because he got a scholarship to Harvard for math. They weren't even in my year, actually. They were like two years below me. Uh-oh. Oh my god, why did I have to waste two bombs here? I don't like that. Okay, fight me. What do you mean, ew, math, ink? Math is... Math is purity. Math is beauty. I'm going to do a fucking math stream just to show you one day. I'm going to do a stream where I do math on stream. And it will be amazing. It's not going to be like... Ollie Crazy's like fake math stream. This will be a real one. <laughs> Mathematics is what makes the world go round. Physics is built on math. The universe runs on math. Computers run on math. Math is the reason this game can have so many bullets and not crash. Seriously? Ugh, I'm so close! Oh, these bullets are uncancelable? Okay. Ugh. 
point when you subtract me to number theory. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do math problems on stream. Simple as that. I'm focusing right now, guys. I'm focusing so hard. Prob I was thinking of doing math problems from, um, from like high school level math contests. So it's mostly like algebra and basic number theory and a little bit of geometry. I gotta double up on those life points. Okay. Which attempt on Mamizo is this? No, calculus is usually not included in those high school level math contests. Calculus, the reason they don't usually include calculus is because calculus has too much, um, Calculus has usually has too much like number theory involved. Or not sorry, not number theory. Calculus has too much memorization of equations. So like calculus is too much just based on memorization for it to be reasonable for for those high school math contests, which are more so like puzzle based than like than like memorization based. It's a lot different from um What? What did I die to? Oh my god. That was a terrible death. I lost two whole bombs there. Music greater than math, but music is mathematical. What affects the speed at which she shoots these bullets? Time or health? Cause this gets like really unmanageable later on. Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 do. I think okay. Oh no. I was so close. Okay. <sighs> Too many dumb deaths. Uh, at least I get to practice this card, right? <laughs> XD. Oh, I can just stand here. I guess I can't just stand there for the second wave. Hmm. Okay. Wait, why? Doggos? Burps? Do these- do, do the dogs spawn at the same level as me? Oh, they do. Oh, what the- Seriously? I keep forgetting how short it- like there's basically no invulnerability window after bombs. Do I get a legitimate try at this card at all? Or am I just gonna fucking die? Hmm. 
Nope. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let's try that again. I don't feel like this extra stage is like on like the ultra hard set or anything, but it's definitely not an easy one either. Well, actually, no. The problem is I don't know these cards. I don't know the I don't know the cards in the stage, so it's just harder because I don't know it yet. Like I can probably clear Koishi a lot more easily. I could probably clear Koichi a lot more easily than I could clear this one, but that's just because I've like studied Koichi's cards to hell and back. That's not good at all. You have really good discipline bomb use. No, I there were like a lot of times back there where I should have used the bomb and didn't, so I wouldn't say that's true. And of course, there's the whole extra stage meme of the mid boss being harder than the. Mid boss's cards being harder than like half of the final of the act of the EX boss's cards. Like this card is just like holy shit and me. It's so long. This is also one of the cards that I remember someone earlier asked me why I didn't stay at the bottom of the screen the whole time. It's because of cards like that one. The bullets are curving in like ridiculous directions for that card eventually. Okay. Oh. What was this one again? Oh right, this thing. Crap. What were the enemies here? Right, they do that. unfortunate thing about the border mechanic is that it doesn't clear bullets. If it cleared bullets after it ended, that would probably be too OP. I guess I'll just kill the ones that spawn on this side and then dodge the bullets from the other side. Life piece. Is this one of the hardest? Let me let me let me let me let me search this up. Uh, spawn camping. Spawn camping is how you're supposed to deal with a lot of these, though. Ten desires extra is about as hard as UFOs extra. Oh, actually, that's pretty hard. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's still, it's still easier. People mostly say this one's easier than Koichi, but it still seems to appears to be on the not the easy side. It's like middle to middle hard for an extra, apparently. So yeah, actually, I don't know if I can clear this during this stream, but I'll give a, I'll give it a shot for maybe an hour or two more. I don't know how I got through that. Oh my god, man. I don't... 
Didn't I have two bombs there? Oh my god. I was just like, the boss is about to die, I don't want to bomb, and then... That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. I, 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 I was reading chat. That was really bad. I actually don't know what Kuishi's relation to Roses is. Yeah, why, why does Kuishi have a lot of Rose-related imagery? Maybe it just has something to do with the flower language of Roses, maybe? Okay. Clon Palma blue screen. I am focused. I am focusing. Okay, this is the frog one. The frog one! getting any damage on her This game has spell practice. Let me go do some decent spell practice after, now that I think about it. I always forget that the games have spell practice. The reason I forget they have spell practice is because they didn't have spell practice for a few versions, but then he added it back in. So, like, Imperishable Night had spell practice, and then nothing had spell practice until this game, right? So, I'm just kind of like. Spell practice, what's that? I can practice spell card. Oh my god, I almost did it. Sorry, I'm still kind I'm still not playing to clear right now. I'm still definitely in like a can I clear these cards kind of playstyle. So I'm playing a bit too riskily. But I couldn't keep under her. It's too hard to keep under her doing that. What was it this one? Wait, what the fuck is overdrive? What is overdrive? Can someone tell me what overdrive is? Is it because I have a patch that adds. Wait, what? 10 desires overdrive? What is overdrive? Overdrive. To unlock, oh, you have to do something special to each. Oh, it's just a. S you have to capture every spell once an extra to unlock the overdrive. Oh, is it a spell practice only? Uh, a spell practice only card. I see. Okay, let me. Let me practice. 
And it's just a bit harder version of that one specific spell, and it's only spell practice. You can only do it in spell practice, okay. Ah. Uh, I thought you could just stand in between them as we're coming up to you, not at the really. Does that not work? Because this is how I see it done in a video. I, I'm looking at a video on the side right now. You stand in between them, but it doesn't seem to be working now, which is very strange. It was definitely working earlier, so why not anymore? Oh my god. Oh, overdrive! Oh, oh overdrive! Oh, overdrive! Oh, oh overdrive! Alright. Why? I could do this earlier and now I just can't at all? Am I dumb? What's happening? These men need to stop walking at me threateningly. I feel like I'm just messing up the timing on it now. Oh yeah, that timing is really tight if I want to do it this way. Okay. That's really spooky though. That's really spooky. Is there another strategy I can do this with? One that doesn't involve them shooting the moment I pass through them? Maybe if I go up a bit higher? That is not an optimal height. Let me try going a bit higher than that. Maybe if I start from over here. Because they always shoot the waves from the same heights. So if I just find the midpoint height in between two waves being shot, then I can just... Do that. <laughs> Now this is streaming. Is this only possible with Reimu hitbox? Lol. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that kind of worked. I want to try that again. <laughs> it's... It's not luck, they literally just don't shoot their bullets. Like, I'm in the most optimum- like, the bullets hitboxes are just that small. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she died, and then I got hit, and then I lost. <laughs> Okay, that didn't work. Oh, whoops. Why is that height not good? Maybe over here instead? Nope. Hmm. Have I really not captured this yet? I'm kind of annoyed now. Oh no, I captured it one time, right. I captured it one time using the other method. That's, that's kind of weird, but I guess. Let me try the frog one. Is it this one? 
No, it can't be that one. I captured it before. This is old animals. What is this? Yeah, this one is a frog one. Wait, she's already almost dead? What? Yeah, but I have full power in spell practice. Let me try that again. Having full power is cheating. Okay, so the frogs aren't always shot in the same... They're not always shot at the same uh, angle each time, so it's not static in that sense. If I start from under the second one... I understand. What is this one? I've captured this two times already, so this must be one of the simpler ones. Oh, this is the one with the birds. I already figured this one out. In this one, you have to look at the... Each wave of birds, each double circle wave of birds, you have to look at the top two, the top, the top ones, the ones that are faster. And then you figure out where a safe point is for the top wave. Yeah, I need to look at the dog one for sure. Yeah, this one you just look at the top wave, figure... You have to figure... Do you guys like how I made this, this stream title like 1cc normal challenge and then I just do it in one try? That's kind of misleading, isn't it? I was like kind of think to be honest, I was like kind of thinking like if this really is as easy as Imperishable Night, I might actually be able to sight read normal on this. You know what? Let me change the stream title actually. Uh... Practicing on extra stage because normal 1cc was a push over. It is time to struggle. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm gonna change the, the stream title to. Toaster clickbait? Question mark, question mark? Yeah, basically. What was the dog one? God, I can't... I can't read any of these characters. This one says something about meat, so maybe this one is the dog one. Yeah, okay. Can I DPS her down? <laughs> no, wait, 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 I died! Oh my god, that almost worked. That almost worked. <laughs> there, there's a term there's a term in shooting games for when your when your strategy for defeating a sp specific pattern is to just time it out via damage. And I don't I don't remember what it is. Alright, penguin goes to sleep now. So, Alright, good night, Ink. Thanks for coming. <laughs> uh... Good luck. I don't, I don't know if I can actually beat this extra stage, but I'm gonna practice for like maybe another hour or so, or until I start to get tired at least. Cause like this game, Toho or just shooters, um, for me in general, I'm not like super good at them yet, so my endurance isn't that high. I've only been playing for two hours total right now, but I'm already starting to feel kind of like, oof. Can I give tips? Yes, please do. Oh, Eridum, aren't you the person who suggested a fan game to me? Or or made a fan game, actually, now that I remember, remember think about it. Oh wait, they didn't despawn yet. <laughs> 
Yeah, I remember seeing your reply. Sorry I didn't reply to it on Twitter. Um, it was... I saw it a bit late, so like... I didn't have time to like download it or anything. Download it or anything. Slowly, very, very slow. I already tried that though. I can't damage her down before it. That's too slow. I can't damage her down before. Before I reach her, if I just sit, sit under her. Yeah. see how I can go up any slower than that though because I'm like going up as soon as I see one of the dogs like about to hit me I go up Because they don't... The dogs don't go directly... They don't go directly towards you. There's like a bit of RNG in like... Their targeting. They might go like a little above you, I feel. So... Right? That That's what I was doing last time. <laughs> Spread the dogs, like just go like that, right? But the problem is getting back down through the wave after you go down, after you go up really fast. Restreaming is the term. Yeah, I I don't know many shooting game terms because I didn't really socialize much with people who play a lot of shooting games. But the the term for that is restreaming. When you spread it, when you spread out things that are aimed at you like that, and then start moving slowly again, that's called restreaming. Yeah, the restream here is very difficult, and it feels very RNG based too, because sometimes like, sometimes they'll be like really dense on both sides and then you don't really have a way through them, but sometimes they'll just be like a huge gap, like, oh my god. Well then, well I'm gonna go check some other cards for now. It's possible but I feel like it's unlevel, yeah, because they have a lot of RNG involved. But it's also definitely the intended way is to restream it. <laughs> like, there's no way Zoom's just like, just tap up really slowly. But yeah, finding ways to cheese things is also just a part of all STGs anyways, so like... Hmm... Let me see if I can do that one again. For this one you have to... Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you have to find the ones that go off screen and then go around these guys like that. And also I use unfocus a little bit in order to hit her more. The problem is when one of them goes off screen really late like that, it feels very... Unreliable. Oh shit, I didn't move fast enough. Also, like, my earth power of dodging is just not very high anyway, so, like... I am just no good at dodging. Like, like that, you see, there's no way around that guy because... Because he just is on the, a path that makes it so that he doesn't go off screen until way too late.
I guess I could also do something like that, huh? <laughs> no, this is extra. This is extra stage, and I'm practicing on some spell cards right now. Oh, I already have two captures on this one, so. It's oh, this is Nue. Well, never mind. I don't need practice on this. What was this one? The third one? Oh, yeah, the third one is the one with this crap. I only have two captures on this out of five, really? Okay. Uh. Okay, that's as far as I got, so I'm gonna go back into the stage now. I hope I remember how the stage goes. Just kidding, why would I forget? If I can memorize an entire ultimate in Final Fantasy, then I can memorize an extra stage here. Oh my god. Hello, I am back for my midnight ham snack. Do any of you do any of the other breadcrumbs eat like weird midnight snacks? Cause I always eat a lot of weird midnight snacks. I feel like I've probably talked about this before, but it's because in college in college, um I'd always eat something around midnight, so like it became a habit. Those last few ones are waves of four, so you can just stand in place and it won't hit you. One of my friends who I made the game with is a lunatic super player who can do lunatic perfects. It's quite insane to see how he can do patterns blind that I can't even do after hours of practice. I mean, yeah, it's very similar to rhythm games in that respect, right? If you're like super good at rhythm games and you just you just you just go and you and you just get a perfect. And you're just like It's just like an Archaea, like if you have super high if you have super high potential in Archaea, you could probably PM like every other 8 on site read, to be honest. Like every other new 8, or maybe even more. If you're like a max potential player, if you're like a max potential player, I wouldn't be surprised if you could PM every other 9 on site read. Meat should be eaten with rice. I do not necessarily agree with you. Okay, let me focus for this one. Rhythm games and jump stuff with similar energy. Yeah, that exactly. That's why that's why I am a person who likes both of those genres, right? <laughs> it makes perfect sense why I seriously? I didn't see it. Uh Well. Maybe I will just live with the shame of having one less life here. Who knows? Honestly, to me, if it comes to the game, I only care about my skill and what I can reach in the game rather than being perfect with it. Well, perfecting things is basically just like, it's just like what you do at the high level of skill. It's not like, 
it's not like perfect is it's not like i'm saying perfect is the only thing that's valid right the the things you should aim for is something that is slightly harder than what you could do last time that is what your goal should always be to always just like climb up one step at a time but the problem is when you get to the top of the mountain then the only thing you can do there is get perfects on everything <laughs> You always have to take it one step at a time in these type of games. Rhythm games, shooting games, you just gotta go one step at a time. Like you can't you can't climb to the highest step instantly. That's not gonna work. And honestly, this also applies to a lot of other genres of games. Oh shit. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. That's not good. Oh wait, no, that works too. What the heck? I messed up this time though. I need to reposition myself. Ugh. Oh, that's close. <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying about taking things skills one step at a time, the problem is there are a lot of things out there that the same thought process applies to. Just take it one step at a time, right? But the problem is that... Sorry. Oh my god. I moved too slowly, see? It's just... The problem with those other things, it's like, like first-person shooters, for example, is that the difference between a really good and a really bad player is not instantly, like obvious like it's not like a rhythm game player it's not like rhythm games where like the beginner and like like when you look at an expert at a rhythm game you're literally like this is impossible there's no way i can do this and like 100 percent of people would agree with you there is no one out there who's gonna look at like, look at someone who's like really fucking good at a rhythm game and be like all he's doing is just clicking on the heads how hard could it possibly be like that doesn't happen with rhythm games or sorry that doesn't happen with shooting Wait, what's I saying? Yeah, that doesn't happen with rhythm games, which is why, like, people have a better mindset with improvement in rhythm games, because it's obviously something that's hard, right? But if it's like a sh If it's like a, sh a first person shooter, some people will just go like, just click on their heads how hard it could be. Which, um, it's not necessarily the best mindset, but you know, that's yeah, just how it is. Oh my god. Ah, yes, this one. Seriously? Oh. Isn't that just a 12 year old sweaty Wraith Apex player? Wow, Mark II, how did you know? That's actually literally who I was. That's like literally the example of. of just click on their heads that I was thinking of in my head when I said that. <laughs> This auto, this non-spell is, that non-spell is actually very spooky. Okay, let me actually try to get farther this time. I'm gonna bomb and be careful on the spells I know I can't do. Oh yeah, definitely. Normally, normally I would go on YouTube and look at, look at like perfect place to see like how people do certain cards and stuff. What? I thought that was a uh. Although for for rhythm games, depending on which rhythm game, watching skilled people won't help. Like if it's like 
if it's like 2dx like watching skilled players is not 2dx strategy does not exist you just have to do but yeah a lot of other games do have strategy when it comes to how you're supposed to hit patterns and that does help a lot but i and meanwhile like the these this game is literally all about strategy Arkea is definitely a game that requires more strategy than not. Yeah, yeah, but that's because Arkea is the type of game where we're having a strategy. Oh my god. Arkea is the type of game where having a strategy is important. We're not having a strategy, but figuring out the correct way to hit certain patterns, I think. I mean, like, there. <laughs> I'm not saying that there's a correct way to hit every pattern in Archaea, but there is, so like, um, please figure out what that correct pattern is, lol. If you don't hit it the way I intended for it to be hit, then I'll be very sad, by the way. Oh, and also, strategy at some point can really just be overcome with sheer earth power like if you're just fucking good enough you just press the buttons like literally Ugh. that is what i mean by the correct method by the way is the way the developer intended it that's what i mean by when i say there is a correct way of doing patterns in arcade is that there's a way that i that i or the or the charter of whatever chart you're talking about intended it <laughs> oh my god and and if you don't do the patterns the way that i intended for you to do it if you cheese it i will be very mad because <laughs> Honestly, I, I usually try to make my patterns as uncheesable as possible. <laughs> so like, if you find a way to cheese it, I'll just be like, WHAT?! There was a way to cheese it?! Skip the card, you always just bomb it? But Toaster, you choose the Climax arc. Hmm. Maybe the implication is that they're intended to be cheesed. <laughs> oh, just trance the second card? Lol, okay. Your arts and feels so right is cheesable. Yeah, maybe... Okay, that's not what I meant by... When I said that... My patterns are not intended to be cheesable. If they're cheesable, they're cheesable for a reason. Interesting. Okay, I will, I, I will try that. Wait, I don't even have enough trans gauge right now. Because I'm bad, so I didn't collect enough trance stuff during the stage portion. Oh, I missed it. I missed the timing for the... for this card's items. Or the pre- the first card's items, I mean. Yeah. Never mind, I- I regret everything I said about cheesing. Just- just forget it. <laughs> What I mean is that for some, at a certain difficulty, whether or not something is cheesable is not really the point of, is not the point.
Oh my god, seriously. That's too many bullets. I should have cleared out the other side. Yeah, that's true. Trancing that section seems good because of the life, the life dudes. I mean, it might actually be intended for you to trance that section, right? Because trance gives you the life dudes, and he put the life dudes. Zoom put the life dudes, the life spirits there for a reason. So, um. uh oh. How did I? I will not ask how I... <sighs> Maybe I should be dodging... It. Oh my fucking god, I should not have... This run never happened. I literally just wasted my entire run on experimenting on that card, which I should not have. Yeah. Are we having fun yet? That depends on your definition of fun. <laughs> In some way, yes, I am having fun. It is fun to like learn how to play the stage and whatnot. Why do I not have enough? Oh, it's because I'm only at two power. I wasn't able to damage her enough. What's this the f Oh, this is the bird one, okay. This one is like kind of just raw dodging to be honest, but You can tell how much fun I'm having. I'm having so much fun that I'm not talking. <laughs> okay, this is a really bad arrangement. I probably have to start here or something. What? Oh my god. Okay, this one I should start get to the right here. Yeah, I know, right? But they're not even real animals. They're like made of lasers. Why? Why? <sighs> oh my god, I panicked. or random it feels kind of static that non-spell feels like there's a oh no it's the men the men oh shit i fucked up my streaming i wasn't prepared i wasn't prepared i forgot what card this was 
so I didn't set up properly, set my height up properly. Compared to our kids, only an eight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, yeah, because like eights are like where the game starts to get real, you know. And I'm sure there's much more harder things in the world of. Oh no, sci. <laughs> oh no, sideways bullets dies instantly. Zoo. Yeah, but why does she have a zoo? What's what's the deal with that, huh? Why does she have a giant zoo? <laughs> Mommy zoo. Legacy of Lunatic Kingdom. Is that one of the harder ones? Oh no, I have tried the extra on that one. That one, that one. that one's extra is so fucking hard, man. Like, I can't even get to, like, the second card in that one, let alone get to the boss without, like, struggling... struggling through, like... Gaps are not where I want them to be, please. Uh, okay. I don't have enough spirits for trancing this, unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to do it then. been suffering from around 10.64 potential for the past whole days. This stream greatly pleases me. Please. <laughs> Are you like, finally, I get to see Toaster suffer at something that I'm better than him at. Or maybe just suffer in general. <laughs> Long time to fill up the trance gauge, though. Oh no, the spirits are gone. Why? <sighs> that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Arcaea? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess you already are a music... <sighs> I guess you already are a music instructor, but that's going to another level. <laughs> that didn't happen. No, though I, I do admit that this is- I'm not actually internally suffering as much as you think I am, so like... Because I'm used to this. I'm used to this, guys. I'm used to like having to grind through something like over and over in order to get better at it, you know? Although maybe I'm starting to get a bit tired as you can see from me running into regular bullets over and over. Um... <laughs> Uh. 
Uh, honestly, if you like Toho, take a look at fan games. I can especially say that RS uh, insert a bunch of letters to your art grade. Yeah, I've seen videos of some fan games, and they do seem to be pretty good. Apart from maybe suffering from being a slightly overly gimmicky in some cases, um, this is that's something that happens a lot with fan anything's in anything though. Let me tell you, fan-made things always suffer from being overly gimmicky, no matter what it is, whether it's a fan game, a fan chart, a fan song even, they're always overly gimmicky, because... <clears throat> oh my god. I sh <laughs> Trying to talk is actually like fucking me up. Because when you're making a fan game, you don't have to think about the future. You don't have to think about pacing your gimmicks. But if you're like a real company, a real game company, and you just go all out at the beginning, then you're just not going to have any more content. Oh my god. I'm not dismissing it by saying it's too gimmicky though. Or maybe it's not specifically a fan game thing, but like a novice game design or like an amateur slash hobbyist game designer thing. It's mostly because of the fact that you're not part of a company and you're not trying to like make money off of it. Like the considerations are slightly different because of that. I'm really starting to just, like, not pay attention here. Imagine our kid collaboration with Toho. Imagine. Did I just run through a wall unfocused by accident? I think I just ran through a wall unfocused and somehow it worked. Yeah, rhythm games are just bullet held games except you need to press the bullets instead of dodge them. <laughs> That's why I don't re didn't recommend the first two games of the guys who made RSS or my first game was horrible. I only recommend second because I learned a lot by them. Yeah. Yeah, game design is um game design is not as easy as it as you would think it is. <laughs> A lot of people just go like, "Why? Well, you just imagine a game, and then it, and then it happens." And even if it was as easy as just imagining the game, and then it happens, there's still a second problem, which is that um, like actually the things you're imagining are not going to be as good as you think they are until you've actually put them into practice. Game design is a skill to learn over time by doing it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but it's it's like art. I mean, it is art, right? Like, like people who don't understand how art works are just like, yo, you just imagine something and then it exists. And the thing in my imagination is very good. So why doesn't everyone just automatically make something very good? The problem is that <laughs> these people are overestimating their own. Imagination, TBH. 
like once you actually put whatever even after developing the skills to make whatever you're imagining real even after oh my god i can't believe we just died there again i'm talking too much and just not paying attention yeah but even after you gain the skills to make what you're imagining real you s learn that actually the thing you're imagining is shit <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like actually not paying attention to the game right now. <sighs> Is that how you feel when seeing fanmade arcade charts? <laughs> okay, let me tell you about fanmades. I do not ever look at fanmades. I make, it is a point of mine that I will specifically make that I do not look at fanmates, and the reason for this is simple. As long as I do not look at fanmates, then nobody can say I ripped off a fanmate. Nobody can say I ripped off a fanmate if I don't look at them, because well, obviously I, I couldn't have, right? But if I do say that I, if I look at fanmates, and then I say I looked at fanmates, then any single pattern I make in the game, people will just be like, oh, Toaster just ripped this off from this fanmate over here. So there is a, There is a very good that that's like the reason I don't look at fan mates. And actually actually um this doesn't only apply to fan mates. This doesn't only apply to Archive fan mates and it doesn't only apply to me. For other game developers, sometimes they are basically required to not look at fan made content because the moment you look at fan made content of any kind, right? If you ever make any and and you admit to it, if you ever make anything in your actual game that resembles that fan-made content, then people can just accuse you of ripping off that fan-made content. And that's actually one of the biggest problems with fan-made content in any single genre, is that there's always a pot like basically by making something fan-made, you're why did that hit me? Why did that hit me? By by making anything fan-made for anything. There is an off chance that you are basically, you are basically saying that you've basically made that thing never capable of happening officially, because because now that it's fan made, like anything that resembles that officially can just be um, accused of being a ripoff. So like as an example of something that's not even a game but is a fan made, like if you make, if you draw like, like suppose there's like this VTuber that you really like and you're like. A really good artist right so you go and draw like make up like an an outfit for them okay you make up like a new outfit for them and just make like a fan you just draw a new outfit for them and you're a really famous artist now that vtuber will never get a new outfit that looks anything like that because it will just be it will just people will just say you you just rip off that other famous artist so this only applies if you're like really famous as a fan content creator, but there there is a danger to making fan content that's too good, <laughs> or like original fan content that's too good. Like you can draw fan art of like existing outfits and stuff, but like if you're like making original content and that original content is way too good, then you might actually be locking the actual the actual thing itself out from ever getting something to that degree of goodness. And, an and another example I could give is like in Apex Legends. If you like, if you like, oh, I have this idea for how you could fix Lifeline's passive or something. Well, guess what? Now your idea will never happen because now your idea will never happen because now people just say it's a ripoff of this random guy on XD. They don't know how to make a pa an original passive for Lifeline, so they just ripped off this one guy on Reddit XD. Yeah, so um. Maybe. I'm not even paying any attention to the game. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just keep dying in stupid ways because I'm like, I'm just ranting about other stuff and like not paying attention to the game anymore.
<laughs> Get Pathfinder real passive. <laughs> oh, what's path passive again? Oh my god, I main path and I still don't remember. Oh, it's the ultimate thing, right? Every time you scan a thing, it reduces the cooldown on your ultimate and refreshes it. To be honest, in the end game, you can get so many ultimates off. But it's not like his ult is like game breaking or anything, so it's not it's particularly like super ultra mega OP. <laughs> it's still pretty funny to have such a low cooldown on his ult in the end, though. I like seeing fan made content of the game I made. Okay, here's a question. Would you enjoy it more if that risk wouldn't be accused of copying or even unintentionally copying content? I didn't say anything about not enjoying fan made content because of because of the risk of being possibly um possibly accused of ripping it off. I actually just said I'm just can't. I just don't. I just don't look at Arcade of Fanmates because of that reason. <laughs> it's not that I wouldn't enjoy it, although based on what I've heard about Fanmates, I don't think I would enjoy it. <laughs> it's always really annoying when people go like, oh, the Fanmate was better. Well, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the game at all. <laughs> Toaster, why do you always map hard songs in our kid? That's up to you to figure out. That's not something for me to answer. Is that a cryptic answer? Yes, it is. But um, it's also not something for me to answer. If you look at my description, I have in my description that I can't make any official statements for Arkea, so I'm not going to. Generally, when I say something about Arkea, it's like actually not about Arkea, or it's something that's public knowledge. I think I should be safe here. Okay, hello Nue. <laughs> Why don't you humor me and try to figure out the answer for yourself right now? Do it. <laughs> I won't tell you if you're right, but I might tell you if you're on the right path. I might tell you if your idea is a very good idea, but I won't tell you whether or not it's correct or not. <laughs> What? The hitbox betrayed me. Guys, I don't want to do this anymore. You want us players to feel pain and suffer. You're already thinking of it in the wrong way. You're already thinking of it in the wrong way. And let's firstly consider that that Arcade is not made by a single person. attention I'm not paying to the game right now like 
If I wasn't paying this much attention to my taxes, the IRS would be after me. <laughs> maybe do something else like the main game? Go like try playing hard or something? Eh, maybe. I think the problem is right now I just want to talk about whatever whatever topics chat has brought up instead of um, playing the game, you know? Secretly Zatsudan with me dying as the background noise. Hey, I'm getting better at that though. Anyways, I really enjoyed it here and I have a dentist appointment to go to. And thank you for coming to watch me not suffer in normal and then suffer in extra. <laughs> As someone who is probably way better than me at uh, Toho. I, and has also made a fan game actually, yeah. I, I, I respect you. I respect you, Eridum. Good enough to pick enough, pick up enough spirits in these parts. Just talking to chat as a stream would be very pog. I don't, I don't trust my ability to be able to do a whole Zatsudan stream. Maybe if it was like a one-hour-long Zatsudan stream, I might be able to do it. Maybe, maybe, but I'm not completely sure. I, I do mention this quite often, but I don't have many things to say about a lot of topics because um, my brain is just game developer. <laughs> oh no, I messed up. Thanks for coming, Honeycomb. Here's a random point of topic. I'm trying to dig myself deeper into Final Fantasy XIV hole. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you started the game recently, and then you're comp on Twitter, right? And then you're complaining about um, you're complaining about how slow the story is at the beginning, which is a completely valid point. Cause it is. Like, it takes quite a while for the story to ramp up. For a new player nowadays especially because you have to go through like like so many expansion packs worth of content Cone panwa blue screen it seems that we have gathered both of the blue people okay what, is, what card was this oh this one Yeah, I started Final Fantasy XIV when there were no expansion packs yet, so I can't really relate to, like, the new player experience nowadays, but it does seem like it's kind of pain peco. Remember when Secret Cutscene is the most hyped thing? Okay, Secret Cutscene? What?! The other starting town, but there's three of them.
town folk here. Holy shit. No, what? Oh, I forgot about the bomb thing again. Oh my god, I trolled myself. Uh, okay, I saw that toast that Mark II said they had to go, so um, see you around, Mark II. Thanks for coming, as always. I just for I just remembered the actual dog hearts. Tra I thought you I thought you left Eridum. <laughs> This non-spell is definitely static. The pattern of the gaps is always the same. Oh right, I have to... Oh my god. The whole tar reminds me of everything. Everything I dislike about California. <laughs> you mean run by the people with the most money? <laughs> One random question tells you kind of come getting lunch, burger or sandwich. Oh shit, wait, hold on. No. Go for a burger. Speaking of toast sixteen, autumn is almost here. Wait, what does it have to toast? Oh, right. What the? I understand the pattern now that I've seen it a second time, but um, the first man, <laughs> right? Because Toho 16 is season based. Actually, I remember hearing something about Toho 16. Um, I heard that there are certain combos in Toho 16 that are OP as fuck. I wish I wish autumn was almost here, but um Seasons in California all we have is wildfires and no wildfires. Uh-huh <laughs> uh-huh uh -huh. I kind of figured out the strat for just sitting there. Plans for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, because of the panini, the p coronavirus, the pandemic, I'm probably not doing anything for, for either of them. I think I actually do have a plan for one of them. This might be kind of cringe, but it's to watch certain VTubers. <laughs> I don't know if Wada Yubi is still here, but he knows what I'm talking about. So Shiki, speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, I'm gonna be real honest, I don't remember any of the story from um, Heaven's Word anymore because I played it so fucking long ago. Like everyone's always like, oh yeah, Heaven's Word story, oh so, so good. And I'm just like, I don't remember anything other than Alfin <laughs> doing his thing. <laughs> Cause it's been like half a decade for me, like literally so like... Uh...
Hmm. This is going pretty well. But now I must not get owned. I'm not saying it's- I'm not saying Heaven's Word is bad. Heaven's Word was definitely good. There are- I remember like the specific like very good parts of it. Oh wait, let me focus on this. But um, it's really Shadowbringers that has like the whole- Shadowbringers story is just like on another level compared to even Heaven's Word, man. But it is so- so much investment of time to get to heavens, to get to Shadowbringers, so like... But here's a funny thing I noticed with every single person who has been getting into Final Fantasy recently. It's like, they all, this always happens. They will complain about like the story being too slow during ARR, which is true, right? <laughs> right, and then, and then... And then, so like, the progress, usually people take like a month or two to get from AR... From ARR to, um, Shadowbringers. I ran out of space. I still ran out of space. I still ran out of space doing that. Usually people take, like... Months getting to Shadowbringers, right? And then the moment they hit Shadowbringers, like one week later or like three weeks later, they'll be like, I finished Shadowbringers, it was so good. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Shadowbringers really sucks you in when you get to it. Like, you probably have to like force yourself to motivate yourself to get through ARR, but when you get to Shadowbringers, it's just like, like, it literally just sucks you in because of how good it is. Okay. What is this? The frog one? Oh shit. Nope. song. Yikes, that was really bad. I almost got hit there. that death bomb man but I unfortunately was not able to finish the card without using two bombs ah the men the men the men I remember See the two interleaved bullet patterns. Oh my god, seriously? That's fine. Crap. 
crap. <sighs> okay. No! Oh my god. I know how that one works, I just didn't see it fast enough. Okay, I have no idea what's about to happen. Please, not one of these! I'm scared. What are these frogs doing? When are they going to explode? Oh, there we go. There's so many of them. God, I can't sight read a survival card, guys. I can't sight read a survival card. It's no fucking way. I don't know what's gonna happen. I cannot sight read a survival card. Oh, okay, this one's birds because they're red. No! Oh, Jesus. Are there gonna be frogs now? Oh, there's men. So the next one's gonna have frogs. But what are the men doing? The men are just providing a wall, that's it. I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh god, I fucked up so badly there. Oh! Holy shit! Oh god, oh. oh! When the boss died, there's still like a half second where you can run into a bullet and die. So when the boss died, I pressed the bomb button to not have that happen. Holy shit. So much for I can't sight read a survival card, am I right? Oh my god. That actually that survival card is really um easy to understand. So like, yeah, that like I could sight read that like off the bat. Thank god. Thank god that survival card is not one of like the memorization ones. <laughs> Like a Koishi survival card is just like, just memorize where the light goes XD. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you guys heard the focus. You guys heard the focus on the last spell. 
That last spell wasn't very bad for a last spell either. There's definitely a lot more very, very tricky last spells out there. Like, that last spell is mostly... It's just streaming while dodging some, like, curvy bullet shit. But, like, Koichi's last spell is, like... Koichi's last spell... Yeah, no, that, that survival card was relatively easy. But once you mess up and, like, lose track and can't find a gap in the dogs, then it's a bit fucked. Ah, holy shit, I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> I didn't think I could do that. Especially since there was a, it was a sight read past, um, you know, the last card I saw. So there were three, three cards that I was sight reading. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm proud of it, but it's still a bit surprising. <laughs> no, thank god those last cards were easy. Thank god the survival and and last spell were easy. Like, if if those two cards were harder, then I would have just... I think I probably would have just lost. Did I waste any lives in that run, though? I think I wasted, like, maybe two bombs here and there. But aside from that, that was actually, like... Even without me wasting, like, two bombs, that still would have been really close. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess, um, I guess today I get to put another normal 1cc and another, nor another extra clear under my belt. Uh, yeah. That, that was good. That was good. Guys, I literally went from having seen TD to clearing both normal and extra in three hours. That That's not bad at all, I'd say. <laughs> that music is kind of burning into my skull. You just got to deal with it. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I was I was so nervous on the last few cards, but, um, you know, rhythm gamer focus, MMO player focus. I don't panic. I do not panic. I do not panic. That is not something I do. I have had a lot of training in the art of not panicking. <laughs> you beat Toho, congratulations. We did it guys, we beat Toho. We killed Reimu. We finally beat Reimu Toho of Toho Project. <laughs> ah. Oh man, that's so cool. That's extra stage. Okay, it's fine. Chinami no Kong. Wait, what? The <laughs> uh, not panic only because you main healer. That's not the only reason. It's also like I, I'm good enough at um, Arkea and uh, Ongeki to aim for perfects in both of those games. And aiming for perfects is like very similar. It's just like don't panic, just do it, you know? <laughs> we beat all the Toho and got the best ending where Mistia rules Gensokyo with an iron wing. <laughs> she blinds everyone and then smacks them with bullets. <laughs> yeah, but Toho 14. I don't know anything about 14. I don't even have 14. I don't have 14, so I wouldn't be able to boot it up right now. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you mean, but we beat Toho, but what about Toho 14? Yeah, but what about Toho 15? Or Toho 16, or 17, or 18, or 19, Toho 2000, you know? EX clear, thank you game. Let me save this replay as well. Not bad at all, I would say. Not bad at all. I think that was a pretty good stream. <laughs> it's actually, hold on, I want to take a look at those last few spells again, because I wasn't really sure what was going on at that point. <laughs> zero, one, zero, one attempt on each of them. All right, let's see what this one was. I don't even remember this card anymore. Is this the one with the things from the, oh no, 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 no. She started flying around and I was like, no, not one of these cards. Cards were the character flies around all over the screen are ass. I hate these. <laughs> I don't even remember how I got through this one. I think I bombed. Wait. What? Wait, wait, wait. Does she change? Is this card different based on the character you're playing? Is this card? No, that can't be true because there's only one here. Oh, 
Oh, it does change. No, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Does it? No, that's just because I'm selecting different. Cause look, look, she she changes it. She literally changes her outfit into Reimu. And then she starts flying around like Reimu. Like this is literally like a rip off Reimu spell card right here. Memories of Byakuren Body Slam card. Not only Byakuren Body Slam card, but there, Byakuren has one, a non, she has a non spell where she flies around in circles. But like every single, every single extra boss always has one where they like fly around everywhere. Yeah, so like, does this card differ based on what character you're playing? Cause like, that's what it makes me feel like because if she, changes to Reimu, then doesn't that mean that it's a different card based on the character? Or maybe she just always changes to Reimu no matter what? Oh my god. I'm... I'm not going to try that card. That card's literally a memorization card. Like, this is a completely static card probably, so you could just do it through memorization. And what is this? Imagine there's a spell card for each character. Wow, couldn't be me. Toho 11, cough, cough. <laughs> I wonder since she's throwing talent. Yeah, yeah, she's also throwing literally Reimu's, Reimu's signature projectile. <laughs> so like, maybe. Imagine having a different spell card for each character. Couldn't be me, Toho. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, doesn't EOSD also have a different spell card for Patchy based on who you're playing? I'm not sure if this is true. I'm pretty sure Patchy changes her spell card based on who you're playing, right? Does anyone know? Because I don't play much. I haven't played. I've played it, but like, I never paid much attention to it because it's like so old and crusty. But I do remember Patchy having like a lot of. a lot of spell cards. I think it might have the only variation though would be Marisa. Marisa. Do you guys say Marisa or Marisa? Because <laughs> her name is obviously inspired by, by um, you know, it's a Western name. But there in Japanese it's in Japanese it's pronounced Marisa. It's like, do you pronounce Alice, Alice or Adisu? <laughs> Satori has different cards based on what character you're playing. Yeah, I know that one. But obviously, because I only play border team, I only know to border team cards. <laughs> Imagine playing anyone other than border team. Like, this card is... These, these big bullets going back and forth is really similar to Suwako's final card, so like... Oh, oh my god. It, yeah, right. It goes faster and faster as you as you near the end of the card. In classic last spell fashion, it just goes faster and faster. Border team having phantasm level spell cards, L-U-L. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Border of life and... No, no. Border of particle... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. They have border of particle and wave. And the other one was the one with the lasers. And the last one was... I'm oh, sorry, Border of Park One Wave is the last one. The first one was... I actually don't remember the first one. Double Black Death Butterfly. No, that's the second. I remember that one, but what was the first? Oh, no, no. Is the first one just Satori's regular spell card? Soon has a habit of using those two layer rotation bolts as long as literally Suwako, Suwako's last spell is literally just that, you know. <laughs> Suwako's last spell is literally just the, the 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 that kind of card. Like literally the whole card is just that. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we did it. I don't think this game had too many cards that I was like... I don't think... I feel like these cards, the spell cards in this game were not like particularly beautiful to me or anything. Unfortunately. 
All right, I died on this because I was blind. Oh shit, they disappear? I can't believe I died to this during the actual... <laughs> my actual run though. I didn't see one of the white bolts and I ran into it. Alright. Oh yeah, this one is literally also just a double rotating thing. Like this whole card is just that. <laughs> uh, this is a really easy card for stage 6 normal boss actually. That's like almost easy level to be honest. UFO has some of the prettiest patterns, but there are some of the suckiest in that too. Yeah, I agree. Um, Byakuren... Byakuren's patterns are just like... So good. Oh, I remember this one. I wonder if I can just... <laughs> After clearing extra, I'm just being so ballsy on these spell practices. <laughs> is this really a normal mode spell card? What, are all of Byakuren stolen? I know some of them are stolen. You know what? Let me go boot that up right now. Let me go boot that up right now. I was actually playing... I was playing... Uh, playing... UFO a bit earlier this week. Slightly as a warm-up, maybe? Um... Game capture, Toho 12. Hello? Ah, right, there we go. There's no spell practice, but we can do... What? What was... Did I play Marisa for that? Marisa B? Oh, okay. Wait, 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 what? No, I played Sanai B, that's right. Are, are all of them stolen from Shinki? Only some of them, right? Oh, one of the reasons UFO is so hard is because of the the UFO mechanic. Like, you actually have to like play the UFOs, which requires you to be ballsy enough to run up to the top of the stage, or like not be at the bottom the whole time. I don't even know why I'm dealing with UFOs in practice. Like, they they don't do anything. I'm not playing through the whole of, of you. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm not paying attention. I just want to get to Byakuren. <laughs> oh shit, I messed up. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to show you Byakuren's cards. So when I was playing this earlier, this week, I was like, because I've played this before when I was younger, but I didn't remember this stage being so good. Like, the pacing of this music being all slow and stuff. Like, the music is just like, it's not like frantic like the other levels. It's like, because basically, like, actually the stage is literally you're entering, like, Byakuren's mausoleum as she's awakening in order to fight her. So, like, it has that feel of, like, you're going into a sacred place. Now prepare yourself. And then that heartbeat. <sighs> and then and then she comes and her music's just like da na na bow meow bow meow bow meow. It's so emotional. This music is so good. I don't remember it being this good, but like after coming back to it like years and years later, I listen to this song. You know what? I Oh my god, let me turn this up. I totally forgot to turn the volume up this whole time. Like, this music is so fucking good. Oops. <laughs> I have two out of five capture on this, shut up. I don't... Yeah, I just... I don't remember this song being so good and... That didn't happen. I can't believe I only have four lives left, actually. 
Oh, this is bad. I have one power. And the thing, and all of her attacks are like really. She doesn't have any like non spells. Like, this is basically a spell card right here. It's called Emotional Skyscraper for a reason. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, is this stolen? This looks a lot like a Yu Yu code card. Yeah, this one is like almost like literally a Yu Yu code card. This attack is also so annoying. Oh, this one. This this spell card is infamous for being like fucking impossible on Lunatic. Yeah, this is like the perfect usage of Zoom Trumpet. I might actually die because I'm not like trying. Yeah, this card is stolen from Shinky. Honestly, this spell card, like the timing of this spell card with this particular section of the music is just like so perfect. Like. Like, because this is like a super beautiful spell card with like, it builds up, right? The spell card gets harder and harder as you go. And it hits just at the same time as this part of the music. And this part of the music is also the part where it like, the music starts building up as well. And it's just like, oh my God. Oh my God, man. This card might not be the most beautiful card, but it, like, oh my god. Usually pre-final spell, usually the final boss does have three spell cards in a row at the end, and they're just like kind of like unrelated, right? But the way this spell card works is like, she, usually she resummons her aura behind her after every card, but she doesn't do it for this one. And it makes sense because this card is literally just about how she's like fucking immortal and she can just zoom around and just like beat you with her bare hands, basically, is what this card is about. I actually have to dodge this. Nope. <laughs> I might not be able to make it to the last card. <laughs> I'm also a big sucker for like I'm also a big sucker for the thing where like like you continuously like blow up the boss's aura and then they have to like get it back right like every single time you kill one of the spell cards the big wings of behind her break and then she has to like resummon them in the next non spell like I'm a huge sucker for that kind of thing it really shows you the struggle of the boss like they're not just like some super powerful thing who's like oh, I'm powerful like they're you're also like breaking their focus and they have to they have to like center up and like after each bomb they have to center up and like refocus to get that aura back you know you know and that's why oh my god that's why this stage is so good <laughs> that's why this stage is so good I want to say her patterns are the most beautiful but like that third to last spell card the one that's stolen from Toho 5 that that card is literally like, wait, this, it's structured like a final card. It gets ha progressively harder the longer you go into it with like more and more layers of bullets, but, but it's not the last card, it's the third to last one. It's just like, wow, Zoon really went all out on Byakurin's attacks here. All of her non-spells also basically look like spell cards as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, also, I didn't realize my volume was so low at the beginning. I'm sorry if like the game volume was really low um, throughout the first half of the stream or first three hours of the stream, but that's just an unfortunate, an unfortunate thing that we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, but <laughs> we did it. We actually, not only did we 1cc... 
Toho 13 is normal, but I also somehow managed to beat the extra stage, so I'd say that was a pretty good stream. So um yeah. <laughs> and I had a fun I had a fun time hanging out with all you Toho nerds as well. <laughs> Toho having Toaster having a breakdown during speech. Come on, it's uh, oh that song is so good. <laughs> Background theme equals episode twenty three of a rom a romantic shoujo series. <laughs> oh. Oku theme equals episode 20 for Hot Blood is shown in series. Yeah, Oku theme is just like. <laughs> Not a Toho nerd, but I enjoyed hanging out. Finally caught up with one of these streams, so I'm so happy. Aw, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, PKRS. <laughs> is it your favorite Toho song? No, I only like. I, I only like realized how good that song was um, when I replayed Toho 12, like last week. What is my favorite Toho song? It's probably too hard to put my finger on one, to be honest. There's just so many Toho songs out there now that like I can't, I can't think of one that's like my number one favorite. Honestly, I probably do like uh, hmm. <laughs> which Toho game next time? If we do another Toho game, it's probably going to have to be something harder. And I've already one cc'd so many of the games. Hold on, can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I've already one cc'd so many of the games. Let me let me change. So, I think is is the beach I'm playing now? Okay, it is. Let me pull up. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. I'm actually going to draw on my whiteboard now, guys. OMG. I haven't drawn on my whiteboard in so long. <laughs> I haven't drawn on my whiteboard in so long. Knee-jerk reaction is either Last Remote or Nuclear Fusion. Those are... Oh, are those your favorite songs? Last Remote is good. It's the stage theme for Koishi's extra stage. It's like... It would be cheap of me to just say Koishi's theme because you know, <laughs> I I I I am Koishi, so like, like that that's that's cheating. I can't I can't say Koishi's theme is my favorite. Oh my god, the white is so visible on this. I wonder if I can if I can color key away the white on this. Custom color. Um Okay. Last remote is god. Like I can't remember what it sounds like right now, but if I listen to it a little bit, I probably remember. Yeah. So hold on, where's my pen? So hold okay. Can you guys see this? Yeah, okay. So, so, so we got 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right? I'm not going to count 18 because I don't have access to 18 yet. Uh, but normal 1cc and then EX, okay. Oh wait, this might be off of the frame. Hold on, let me resize this. Trans scale. Uh. Wow, hold on. Let me let me resize this on the stream. Last has one of the best climax points like an ev ever in any song I can think of. You no, know what? Let me search. Let me just last remote. Oh, yeah, yeah. When the trumpets come in, it becomes like a completely different song. And it's timed. The trumpet is timed to um, the end of the mid boss. So it's just like, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, chef's kiss. Yeah, so basically, um, 
basically normal one sees i don't know i don't know if i've done these before but this one's done this is done this is done and this is done and these are also done okay uh ex is not done here i haven't done this one yet and what did we just do we just did 13 both of them i've never played 14 so 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 um 14 is up for grabs 16 is also up for grabs i've also done the this and this for sure and which one is the easier one? This one, right? I think I've also cleared the extra for this. So if I were to do another Toho stream that's like based off of, that's a sight read stream, then I only have basically these two slots and maybe these slots, but this is really, or not this one, this one, this one is hard. This one's really hard. I've tried so hard on this and I wasn't able to beat it. So I don't think I would be able to do 15's extra stage in a reasonable amount of time. And I've also been trying really hard on this one. I was I'm pretty close on this, so maybe maybe 12 extra stage. Or another another thing I could possibly do is um another thing I could possibly do is is a hard one CC. I could probably go for like MOF hard one CC or something, or like Imperishable Knight, or maybe even 10 Desires one CC. 15 I think is one of the generally agreed upon hardest games in the series. Yeah, it is hard. Even 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 this part, even this is hard. But the EX the extra station is just like fucking impossible. Yeah. <laughs> uh. But um yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Toho for now. I I I think it would be interesting to do another Toho stream, but I'd have to set a more realistic goal maybe. I don't know. Did you guys think it was interesting? <laughs> Was it Heketi or Hekati? I don't know. It's the person with two. Like, like, like this EX stage. I can't even get to the third card. I played it for like two or three hours. And like, I couldn't even get to her third card. Like, her non-spells alone are just like fucking impossible. Especially the one with like... The one with like the rings with like a gap. No, no, no. That's not even her card. I don't know, man. It's... God. Oh my god. She's... It's difficult beyond belief. Mm. Yeah, maybe one day I'll do a to Toaster's first attempt at hard 1cc. No, I actually don't know if I've done a hard 1cc before. Given how easy these, these two and this one is probably really easy for hard as well. I might have actually done one of them in the past but forgot about it already. So yeah, who knows? But uh, I think that's all I have to say for safe for today <laughs> uh, i'm gonna i hear i'm very close to the end of amori so i'm actually going to put up a poll asking people how they want to see me finish it after this stream yeah but um thanks thanks everyone for for coming to my toho stream it went a lot better than i expected the game actually did have a few frame drops but when i was streaming so that was kind of annoying in some parts <laughs> <laughs> and I had a lot of things to talk about in between too. So yeah, I'm a Toasty Roasty Roaster who roasts the toast make toasty roasts. In goes bread, out pops toast, that's how toasty roasts. Oats a toaster, and thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming today, Oats Toaster. May you all be blessed with possibly deniable toast related miracles. And have a good... Oh man, it's Sunday, isn't it? I hope... I hope that you can all get through your work weeks next week. <laughs> I hope you can all get through your work weeks next week. Have a good e afternoon, evening, night, good night, good morning, good whatever it is in your time zone. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye bye. Mwah.